This character that I invented uh, for my show of Saints and Angels, uh, this fictitious Flemish master, uh, is called the Master of the Enoch Altarpiece, uh, which was one of the major pieces that he did, uh, which, by the way, is historically pretty accurate. We have several artists that we don't know their names, but we can see their styles that they connect together. Uh, and so we pick a piece and give them that name. So my character is uh, the master of the Enoch altarpiece. And the Enoch altarpiece was one of the central paintings in this show. Uh, to make the show more fun, what we have of the Enoch altarpiece are the two wings. The middle panel is missing, and that becomes kind of even more fun uh, when, when you realize the content of the painting. Uh, the title of the original altarpiece was Jehovah Teaches Enoch the Plan of Salvation. And so uh, we see the city of Enoch and we see the prophet Enoch with Jehovah teaching him, the Old Testament God teaching him uh, the gospel. But in the scripture, and we only have a few verses about the prophet Enoch and the city of Enoch. And as the world became more and more unrighteous, the people of Enoch were the righteous ones that were left, and God decided they were too righteous to be left in this wicked world, the world that ultimately was destroyed at the flood of Noah. And so he takes the city of Enoch and takes it away. It's gone, it's missing. And so I was playing with that idea of the missing center panel, which shows us the city of Enoch, because it's gone. Uh, there are clues in the side panels because there are two angels. The angel in one panel around her feet, it's very typical of the period of painting, uh, has beautiful fruits and a little serpent in the middle of them. Well, that would be the Garden of Eden and the fall of man, the, the forbidden fruit and all of that. On the other side, the angel that's on the other wing around her feet is a skull, uh, symbolic of death, and then through the eye of the skull grows up a lily, uh, an Easter lily, uh, which is symbolic of uh, overcoming death and the resurrection of Christ. So uh, the painting teaches a lesson even with what's there. There's a little side note in the show because I cannot help myself that the last time the center panel was seen uh, was sometime before World War II. And uh, there have been rumors that the center panel might be in South America. And so there's a whole little story about, huh, I wonder who got the center panel. Where is it? Is it in some guy's house in Brazil? Uh, and maybe someday it'll come.